Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Check this out. We got some sheep's head. Me and the wife, we went out to Pond Sinla yesterday and uh, grandparents watched the kids for us. So we had a nice day out in Ponce. Got a few sheep's head, which I'm gonna play the footage for you guys. We're getting ready to cook them. Uh, kind of have some ideas about how we're gonna do it, but not 100% yet. We're still trying to figure that out. But yesterday, not much wind, sunny, hot, just an awesome day. Ton of friggin' boats out there though. I mean, the boat ramps were absolutely nuts. So you guys, I'm gonna run this footage and we'll see you guys back here when we get ready to cook, when we figure out what we're gonna cook. So, Crabby crabs. Come on, why are we getting so far away? I don't think that spot lock works real well under damn bridges or something. I was having that issue the other day. What, is that something with satellite or something? Yeah. We're probably gonna have to put more weight on. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put more weight on. Uh, at least I made them to where I can unhook them. So I just unhook it up here, take that one off, and hell, I can keep him on it, his ass on the hook, see? Yeah. Just lay it in there. Get me a damn heavier one. This ain't much heavier weight, but. Ow. See if this helps. And I'll switch yours out or I'll give you this one and then. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah. Still that current's flowing. So we fished around this bridge for like 45 minutes, couldn't get anything to bite. That current was just ripping through there. I did see one sheep's head and he was a foot or two under the water and then disappeared. So we're gonna go ahead, head down more towards Ponce Inlet and try to fish around some of these docks. Getting it? No. Big the smallest one out of all of them? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. Damn, I need it on the picked it up on the wrong side. Damn, what a pincher, man. <laughs> I know. Holy crap. If you can grab him by his pincher, maybe. Yeah, he's got a smaller pincher. Those ones tiny pinchers. Um, where? Like right here? Yeah, it don't matter how. Here. I don't know what it is, but... It's a little black drum. Oh, it is. Jesus, he's fighting. I think that's what it is. Uh, uh, All right, buddy. First fish of the day. <laughs> yeah. Just a, just a little guy. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. I think it feels like a good one. Oh. Dang, what did you it get? It better be a keeper. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's fighting. Dang. <laughs> oh, it's a snook. Oh. Well, look up the damn sizes for them, if, they're, it's, if it's even open right now. I don't think snook's open right now, but we'll see. Dang. 18 to 27 inches. Need to look it up on the fish rules app. Uh, do you have the? I need a download. Season is open. Bag limit one. Minimum side twenty eight. Max size thirty two. So it's got to be over twenty eight to thirty two. I doubt that. It's not. Oh hell, hell no. Twenty. What I say? Twenty eight to. Thirty two. At least let me get a picture. Heck yeah. Put him back in the water. See ya. <laughs> Heck yeah. I didn't know they would bite those crabs. Dang, here we are hooked up again. A sheepy. Oh, did you? Uh, oh, and he's going to be a keeper too. Easy, bud. Damn, he's got that hook in his dang mouth. Yeah, he's good. 13 and a half. And 12 and a half. That's what I'm talking about. 12 and a half? I thought it was 13 and a half. Nah. Yeah. Well, because his tail was... He's touching 13. Yeah. Gosh darn it. You go in my spot. <laughs> Get out of there. No, basically throw it right there and just let it drift. Hell, he was like right there by them pylons. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use that hook. I might be able to straighten it out a little bit. I literally didn't even cast it out. I just jigged it next to the pole. And it's, I was jigging right next to that pole. Oh. Yeah. I mean, right next to it. Damn, that was a good one too. I'd kind of given up. I was like, I'm not going to catch anything. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, that's him again. Oh, I think it's a, yeah. Yeah, grab me that net. It's a sheep's head. Where's the net at? Oh, shit. Oh, we don't look hooked very good either. Yank the end out. Uh, you get him? He's a good size one. Heck yeah. Ah. Damn. I need to grab him with my other hand. Oh dang, that got him in his bottom lip. <laughs> they got the weirdest teeth. Dang. <laughs> Hand me them pliers, I ain't getting my uh... Uh oh. Oh. I ain't getting my damn hands too close to them teefers in there. Come on, bae. That's what happens. I mean, I'm don't... about ready to give up. We haven't caught anything. And you don't think the fish are biting? <laughs> he's definitely. Oh, he's. He's definitely 13 or 12, I mean. Yeah, Shoot. 15. 15. That's a good size one. Heck yeah. Freaking second one of the day. <laughs> they have been freaking slow. Oh, I think I'm having some ice cold ice. All right. Well, I'm going to jig around here some more. Damn, I'm about to break the eye eyelets off my pole. <laughs> Maybe he was the only one home. Nope. Come on, babe. Damn, it's another good one. Oh, man, don't you get around that you pole. Need the... Yeah, damn right, I need a net. Ugh. You want to really man, babe? <laughs> oh. Where the hell is he at? I don't know, but he needs to. Hold on. He break. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's freaking go. Yeah, buddy. There, go back there. Damn, he's big. He's bigger than the other one. Well, I found. I think I found my honey hole. <laughs> you got yeah, where does pliers go? Right here. Yeah, grab one of those. All right, guys. This is what I'm using. Just a knocker rig. I got 30 pound braid. To, uh, I think it's 20 pound mono and I have some rigged up to where I can just with heavier weights that way I can just unclip them and clip them back on and then I got this weight that just kind of knocks right up against the hook it's a one slash zero octopus hook heck yeah we're finally getting into some Stop good time Let's weigh him. Well, we can't. Damn, he's fat. <laughs> we can't go nowhere until you freaking catch one. <laughs> Here, Heck yeah. 16 and a half. If you imagine you take your hand away, he's probably. He's thick. Yeah. He's got some girth to him. I'm going to get some fillets off his butt. <laughs> But it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> we decided to go ahead and pack it in, head back to the boat ramp. We had like a 45 minute ride because most of it was idle zones, but we had a great time. We're gonna go home and clean some fish. All right, guys, it's time to clean some fish. Got the water hose in here, getting some of this ice melted. Ended up with three of them. So we're gonna clean them, and then we're gonna cook them. 
Uh, you guys don't judge me too hard on cleaning these things. This is like, like the worst fish to clean. So I'm gonna do my best and see if I can get some fillets off these jokers. So let's do it. All right, guys, we're hungry. We're gonna make a little appetizer before we make the uh, main course. But we're gonna put some of this. We did it on shrimp the other day. It's a uh, meat church, holy gospel, and it was awesome on the uh, shrimp. So we're gonna try it on some fish real quick. Uh, what we're gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of this on each side of this. A little bit of flour on top of them. I mean, no recipes today. We're just, we're just, we're just doing it, doing something. I don't know what. Oh, it's gonna be good. Some homemade garlic butter, garlic and herbs. bit more butter. The pan was hot. Give this a few minutes to cool down. We're gonna try try a piece. Pretty good. What do you think? Good. Good. Bad appetizer. Good. Buttery. Yeah. I mean, hint of the lemon. Yeah, that's one thing. I don't taste a lot of lemon, but it's very faint. Mm -hmm. Kind of like blackened, but not like too crazy with it. That's <laughs> definitely pretty good. I'm just trying different ways. Uh, we're about to get to this right here. Mm. We're going to bake some. We're going to do a garlic, butter, lemon, stuff we got laying around the house and that's what we're going to use. Some of this homemade garlic butter. I'm gonna take some of it. I'm just gonna kind of smear some of it over. Yeah, maybe I should have got a little bit more. I don't really want to stick that back in the butter. Let's <laughs> grab another spoon. Mm. Do something like that. Smear it. Got some garlic. Mm -hmm. 
And then we got some parsley. I'm going to lay some lemons on top of them. I'm going to wrap them, wrap them up. That was two fish. We did one fish, we fried the two. In the oven. 425, probably for like 10 minutes. Uh, heck yeah. I'm gonna eat some more of this, actually. All right, while those are baking in the oven, we got some tasteful selections. Some taters. They're awesome. We're gonna pop them in the microwave. Check that out. We ate every bit of it. That was freaking awesome. If you guys haven't tried this, we got it from Academy. You can get it online, Holy Gospel Meat Church. The only thing we've tried this actual flavor on, the DM microwave is a shrimp and these fish so far. And it's awesome. Add some butter. I think I can make that fit in there. And that's enough. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. I said two tablespoons. This is kind of a whipped butter, so. I'm gonna put the seasoning in it. And you just kind of shake her around. Damn, we better pull them fish out. Let's pull those fish out. Okay. We'll let these rest here for a little while and cool down. Let them steam a little bit in them juices. That'd be good. And again, we're just gonna take a big old... What, is that too much? Hey, good stuff right here. We're gonna smack her down there. Good health in spinach. Looks like a lot is going to cook down to nothing. Oh, yeah. All that juice. Heck yeah. All right, let's make a plate. Tastes like saltwater fish. It's good. Yeah. Now, if I had to choose, yeah. I think I would choose the uh, the one we use the uh, that what was it, meat church seasoning yeah. and that holy gospel. Mm -hmm. That that was really good. This is good. It tastes just like your typical I don't know baked seafood, Lemon, garlic, yeah. fish. Yeah. Yeah. Very flaky. Uh, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I am definitely excited to eat this. So we're gonna get ready. Emma, you said you're not gonna try any of this? No. no. Bubba, do you wanna try it? He's over there eating a lemon. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We went out. I'm no saltwater fisherman, but we went out. We had some pretty good success. We definitely had a good time. Weather was awesome. And the weather's just gonna be getting even better, I guess. I, 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 damn, I guess winter's over. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I know we enjoyed making the video, so. You enjoy it, babe? Yep, and it was, the food's good. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you enjoyed, and we will see you on the next one. See ya. See ya.